Hi, welcome back to Musician's Edition, Practice With Me. We're still working in the Rubank Elementary Method for flute or piccolo. And today we're on lesson five, which is page six. All right, so normally I know I usually change around where I'm at in the room, but my tripod broke, so I'm kind of stuck in the same vicinity for the time being, and that's okay. Also, it's funny because my shirt is a bass clef, and the flutes all play treble clef. Even the bass flute plays treble clef still. Just a fun fact for the day. <laughs> all right, so let's take a quick review, why don't we? So tell me, what is number one? We literally just talked about it. It's the treble clef, and it's what it's the clef we read in. What is number two? That is a quarter note. And how long do we hold the quarter note out for? One beat. Great. What about number three? What is number three? That's the quarter rest. And how long do we hold the quarter rest for? Also one beat. Great. How about number four? What is number four? That is a half note. How long do we hold the half note out for? Two beats. Great. And what about number five? That's the half rest. And how long do we hold the half rests for? Also two beats. What is number six? That is the the whole note. How long do we hold the whole note out for? Four beats. Great. What about number seven? That's the whole rest. And how long do you hold that one out for? Also four beats. What is number eight? What is that called? That's a tie. So how long do we hold that out for, this measure? Three beats. What is number nine? What is that called? That's the dotted half note. Now how long do we hold the dotted half note for? Three beats as well. Now, what are the notes on exercise or example 10? E, G, B, D, and F. Great job. All right, so let's take a look at our example number one. This kind of just looks like uh, a lot of the exercises we've been doing, so nothing really new here. Um, so what is our time signature here? Common time, and that is four, four. Great. What's that thing at the end of our exercise? A repeat, and where does the repeat take us to? The beginning, great. Let's play exercise number one. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. I'm sure you heard it. It was our first time around and it was the B. I played what's called a B flat, so it was a little lower than what we were supposed to play. I mean, I caught it, but I was already playing it. So on our second time around, I fixed it. All right, let's play it again with repeat. All right, ready? One, two, three.
much better. How was that for you? Great. Let's do it one more time. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. All right, let's take a look at exercise number two. So it's consisted of the same thing, but it's kind of just in reverse. So we have the whole note, quarter, quarter, instead of half, quarter, quarter. So not a big deal. We still have a repeat at the end, which still goes to the beginning. So why don't we just play it and see? All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent. So we played exactly the same notes as we did from the previous exercise. It's just that the rhythm had changed. Let's play it again. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent work. How'd you do? Great. Let's play it one more time. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. Did you remember to repeat that time since I didn't yell it out? Great. All right, let's move on to our exercise number three. Um, this one is a little bit more with your counting because we have these rests. So just make sure you really count in your head. All right, let's play. And there's no repeat on this one either, but it does have the second line. So just be aware of that. Ready? One, two, three, four.
great. How did you do on those rests? Even, how'd you do with the half rests? Did okay? Great, let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three, four. Great job. How'd you do? Better? Let's do it one more time for good luck. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. All right, let's check out exercise number four, melody. All right, so first, what is our time signature? Common time, so it's four, four, great. And we still have all the same kind of note values we've been working with, so nothing new. So let's give it a try. Ready? One, two, three, four. Great, how did you do? How about the octave G? Did you get it? Let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. So this one, I actually got more of the rhythm. The first time I held out those G's a little long at the end, just so we're on the same page. Let's do it one more time. Ready? One, two, three, four. Great job. Make sure you keep practicing those octaves. All right, let's take a look at exercise number five. Melody, but in three, four times. So I already gave away what our time signature is. It's three, four this time. So remember, we're gonna only count to three. And we have a repeat on our first line, which takes us to the beginning. This exercise is all three of these lines here. All right, let's just go for it. 
And remember, it's three, so it's gonna be one, two, three, play. All right, ready? One, two, three. job my book has a little I don't know if it was like a misprint or part of the ink scraped off but on the third measure to last that last quarter note I don't know if your books like that but if it is like mine it looks like it could possibly be a half note that is a quarter note and if yours is like that well how can I tell because remember there's only three beats to the measure so I have a quarter note a quarter note that leaves my only option for, at the moment, another quarter note. It cannot be a half note. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if yours looks like mine, but if it does, that's a quarter note. All right, how'd you do? I played one wrong note in the top measure, well, not the top measure, the top line, and our first go around on uh, the third to right before the repeat, I played D instead of E. But just like most of our lessons, I guess, this is usually my first time reading this. And this was one of those cases. This is the first time I've played this. So um, not too bad, though. We'll get it the next time, which we're going to do right now. Let's do it again. All right. Ready? One, two, three. better for me. How is it for you? Excellent. Let's do it one more time. All right, ready? One, two, three. work. If you have any questions about three, four time, please let me know in the comments. All right, so now on to our last exercise of the night. So what is our time signature on this one? It's still three, four time. So we're still counting to three. And now we have more of the dotted half notes, which takes up the whole measure. Why does it take up the whole measure? The dotted half note is worth three beats. So when there's only three beats in one measure, that means it can only take up the whole entire measure. All right, let's just go for it. Let's play. All right, ready? One, two, three.
It is a repeat. Great. How is it holding out those half notes into the dotted half notes with the tie? That means it's technically five beats. We got one, two, and then three tied in. All right, let's play it again, shall we? And remember the repeat. I forgot to look at that. All right, ready? One, two. Excellent job. How you doing? So far so good? If you're having any problems, remember you can always pause the video, go back, and if you're really struggling or confused about something, you can always ask in the comments. All right, let's do this one more time. Ready? One, two, three. Great job today. Keep up the great work and keep on practicing. And until next time.